Tonight we're talking about Nora Flanagan's organization, TurnItDown.com. Um, Nora, could you tell us a little bit about um, what Turn It Down does? Mainly we collect information. We keep track of uh, white power bands that are touring, releasing records, what their efforts are. We look at the organizations that can sometimes be bankrolling them. Mm -hmm. We look at uh, their affiliations, both official and unofficial. And we try to keep track of what it is that they're doing to try to recruit youth. And we then take that information and share it with all relevant parties. We've got sections of our site for parents, teachers, bands. Uh, a lot of bands want to know when they're traveling the country what to look out for because mm -hmm. we've talked to a lot of bands that get booked for a show and they get there and they realize they've been booked with two neo-Nazi bands and they oh, had no geez. idea. And right. you can imagine the crowd that they've then drawn. Yeah. So we share the information with everybody and we also talk a lot to youth all over the country who see this problem coming up at their school in their community and we help them kind of, we walk them through their situation and what they can do and mm -hmm. we give them as many resources as we can. And again, that's turnitdown.com. You should check out that website. This um, album cover here, I'm I date myself by calling it an album cover. It's actually a CD <laughs> cover, Smashing Windows. Uh, uh, Nora, could you tell people a little bit about this? This is some of the tracks on that uh, that album. Tell people about what this is all about. Well, Smashing Rainbows is not a subtle album title at all. This is a collection of overtly homophobic, anti-gay. I mean, even using the term homophobic is too gentle. Uh, if you look at some of the, the song titles, these songs are explicitly calling for violence against the LGBT community. Decimation of faggots. Mm -hmm. You need you say more. Uh, again, I apologize for the use of the term, but this mm -hmm. is this the, the terms they're using against us. Um, th those who are uh, perhaps familiar with the work of uh, the uh, Gay Liberation Network know that we have been involved in a campaign against uh, a so-called murder musician by the name of Buju Bantan, who calls for killing lesbians and gays in the lyrics of some of his so-called music. Um, we have been uh, successful in actually uh, canceling Buju Bantan's uh, a, a concert here in Chicago and a number of other major cities. Unfortunately, the tour is still going forward, and though it may be a little bit difficult to read there on your screen, I would encourage all of our watchers to check out the cancelboujoubantan.wetpaint.com site. That's cancelboujoubantan.wetpaint.com. Buju Bantan, in addition to a number of the uh, performers that Nora's been talking about, does openly call for the killing of, of gay people. And so, uh, well, we've been having this campaign vis-a-vis -vis this a musician who comes in from Jamaica, which has got its own huge problem with mm -hmm. anti-gay hate. Um, you're working on people that, that, that are homegrown uh, uh, murder musicians. But we've been following the Buju Bantan situation really closely and, and, and been thrilled to see how many other shows have been canceled because it's proof that a grassroots effort against this kind of music and an actual, you know, music fans, community members getting involved, that's what will get it done and it's kind mm -hmm. of the model for Turn It Down. So we're really excited that, that these shows are getting canceled one after another after another. Because uh, mm -hmm. that's our, I mean, that's our goal as well. With yeah. Smashing Rainbows, the thing that disturbed us most was that, yes, these are explicit calls for violence against gays and lesbians, but most disturbing is that all the artists on the album are known white power bands. Right. And that was our first indication that these groups were branching out and, and putting forth a, a really specific effort to, to use that as They not as only want to kill black people and Latinos and Asians, they also yes. want to kill... Um, the uh, headline for our story on the Turn It Down website about that album, the headline is apparently there's enough hate to go around. <laughs> they, they never run out. And, and, yeah. and honestly, I mean, it's like that old saying, you know, first they came for the Jews and then they and so on. Mm -hmm. It's one group after another after another. And I don't know that they're going to stop. Yeah, yeah. They'll find somebody new next week. But this right now, the, the new group they're targeting is the LGBT community. Yeah. Well, and Nora, um, we run into this uh, a particular issue all the time when we're doing the uh, campaign against so-called murder musician in terms of the dance hall musicians mm -hmm. like Buju Bantan, and that's the question of so-called free speech. How would you address that issue? I get... We get some hate mail at Turn It Down. Uh, they I shock think, you we've been hear. getting quite a bit lately ourselves. <laughs> I, I, I like hate mail. I like reading it. Send it. Um... One of the most common things we get is that 
well, you're just as fascist and you're oppressing our free speech. Mm -hmm. I clarify this every chance I get. I answer every hate mail, so send them. Uh, we are huge proponents of free speech. We yes. love free speech. We yes. heart the First Amendment. We think they have a right to think whatever they want, write songs about whatever they want, put that music out. That's their right. Mm -hmm. And I love that about this country, even though I hate their message. However, it's also our right as consumers to react to it and as community members to say, I don't want this concert happening at my local VFW hall. Mm -hmm. And I don't want this band playing around the corner from my house and to then go to the venue and say, I live in this community, don't let this band play. That's our right too. That's free mm -hmm. speech as well. And it's, right. it seems complicated for them to understand that they get to say what they want and we get to say what we want back. Well, and I, I, I would go a step further and you may disagree with this, Nora. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to say, I hate XYZ mm -hmm. and I find that offensive, I find that disgusting, I find it very disturbing when it's said, say, to children or what have you and you're trying to infect the next generation with that kind of hate. It's another thing to say, I want to kill you, I want to kill someone else or what have you, that that is not protected by the First Amendment. And those who say, the theater, yes, yes, the shouting fire mm -hmm. in the theater argument, those who say that to call for the death of anyone is a part of the First Amendment, don't understand the Bill Agreed. of Rights. Absolutely I mean, they agree. literally do not understand the Bill of Rights. And it amazes me how many uh, supposedly educated people come up with that argument, and, and they don't know the first thing, frankly, right. about the Bill of Rights. Right. Um, no, the line is definitely drawn, and most of the music we deal with doesn't issue commandments to its listeners to kill people. The Smashing Rainbows... Uh, compilation is full of direct calls for violence against the LGBT community and that does cross that line absolutely mm -hmm. generally speaking with hate music if yeah as you said if they're if they're just sitting around hating with some really bad music in the background yeah that's mm -hmm. the right but you're right calling for violence no it's a separate issue and, and the other issue is that even if they're not calling for explicit violence um, no venue is under any mm -hmm. obligation no first amendment vi uh, obligation right. to give a platform I'm, I'm sorry um, I would go a step further than <laughs> venues and say no uh, retailer. Yeah. And I would be speaking to mm -hmm. Amazon and iTunes on that. Right. Because they carry a lot of the bands that we keep track of. And yeah. that's actually our next project is we're going to, I'm taking on Amazon and iTunes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To try to get them to stop carrying hate music. And people call that a violation of free speech. And that's a completely different issue. That's a privately a owned private retailer. Business who can decide what they do and don't carry, just right. as a venue can decide what shows to host. Right, and certainly the, the far right has got no problem trying to ban um, pro-LGBT messages, mm -hmm. and we're not going around calling for killing anyone, mm. uh, and, and, and yet they think that's okay to try and ban us. Uh, it's, it's funny when they use free speech, hide behind it, and then deny that it exists. They, they're really choosy yeah. on that. Yeah, yeah, well, and, and one of their big things, they, they, they know that if they play the victim role, mm -hmm. they are in a stronger yeah. position. And so we have hate groups like the Illinois Family Institute or uh, uh, Americans for Truth Against Homosexuality. Yes. That, that particularly, they try to play the victim role, like we're trying to take away they're right. That's that defense posture again. If yes. they can, if they can position themselves that they're defending themselves against, I don't know, you, me, mm -hmm. whoever, uh, then yeah, they're the victim, and 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 it takes on this entirely different tone. That's really strange. It's really strange. Yeah. So there's a lot of mental gymnastics involved with these groups that I just don't really follow. Well, I I think they do it for a reason. They know mm -hmm. that um, if they are successfully. Um, labeled as offensive haters, as sort of the white sheep brigade of the 21st yeah. century, then they've lost 95% of their potential audience and they're weaker as a result. Now, Nora, before we uh, um, uh, wrap up tonight's show, I do want to get in a few more announcements here. First of all, again, if you like some of the things that Nora is saying tonight, please check out her website, that of her organization, turnitdown.com. There's a lot of great stuff there. There's articles by Nora. Um, <laughs> she's got one that I would encourage you to search for called Apparently There's Enough Hate uh, to Go to go Around. Um, it has information about some of the uh, song titles of these hate groups, such as Smear the Queer or Killer of Faggots, Torture and Humiliation. Those are just three of the most offensive uh, songs. Okay, so some last um, uh, message for our viewers. What is the most important thing that pe viewers could, should go away with here, Nora? Get involved. 
find us, get in touch with us, and get on one of our news updates. You can find us on MySpace at myspace.com slash turn it down now. If you do a search for turn it down campaign on Facebook, you'll find us on there too. Hit our website, mm -hmm. our email address is up there. Get in touch with us and let us know what you think. Let us know what you've seen and what we can do to help. Okay, and check out gayliberation.net. Again, this has been Nora Flanagan of turnitdown.com and Andy Thur for the Gay Liberation Network. Thank you for watching tonight.